Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Andrew McCart, IFL TV. There's Cam Turnbull just going by there. Um, delighted to be joined by Dylan Arbuckle. Dylan, I didn't, wasn't it the first fight, but the way everybody was talking about that first fight with you against Callum Turnbull was like it was one of the fight of the years. Right? You got the rematch. That was for the Scottish title. The rematch was for this Celtic title. You left no doubts this time. Just explain that fight to me. Uh, I, firstly, the first fight, well, we talked about for ages. It was a cracking fight. But, uh, during this training camp for the second one, we knew we had to change up. And, we knew we were going to get a stoppage. Body shots. Was that the game plan going in? It kind of seemed like that straight right hand on the pipe was something you were looking for early on. The earlier rounds, you were getting to him a little bit with the left hook to the body as well. But it seems like maybe, I think it was round five and six, he was coming more into it. What was your corner saying to you then when that sort of like, he was coming into the fight a little bit more in the middle rounds? I was, the first few rounds, we were, we were melting the body shots in. Uh, I took my foot off the gas, a bit with the body shots especially. Uh, well, in my call, I just basically said, let them go again, let's start melting them in, slow them down again, because he was coming back in it, to be fair to him. Uh, we're getting caught with some daft shots, but once we started the body shots again, she were harmed. Are you known as a body puncher, or is that just something you've been working on? You are known for a body puncher. Well, I was an amateur, even when I was a young boy, even 13, 14, I was only 30 odd kills, and I was stopping boys with body shots, you know what I mean? So, it's so always been that wee dig guy. We've always been known as a body puncher. You might just have to have to watch that. You might have to start going, oh, your future opponents might be watching that and thinking, right, I need to keep my elbows tucked in to watch out for the body shots. But, yeah, Calm, to be fair to him, first knockdown, it, it was a Syrian left hook to the was a right hook to the body. Was it a right left, left hook to the body? And then, obviously, the second one was just a flurry. It's like you knew you had him hurt there, so you thought you were going to unleash, unleash. To be fair to him, he got up, 10-second clacker went. What was going through your mind? Yeah, I thought to myself, let's get him out of here. But in the back of my head, I knew... A minute's not enough, a long enough time to recover for a body shot, you know what I mean? So I wasn't too phased about the bell going. I knew I'd had him coming out in and, and the round after that. You happy about that, but getting the stoppage? Obviously, when you talk about the division you're in and the Celtic title, what that means to you, people need to make statements. And if you want to go further in your career, it's about making those big statements. Do you believe that you made a statement tonight? Aye, aye. I, I believe I, I put that one to bed. That was that was talked about on Facebook and that. And the first fight was a close fight. We we thought we won a few rounds in the first one, but there was doubt with a few people saying he should have won the first one, etc. and all that. But we knew this one. We put this one to bed this time. What next for you then? Obviously, you've had the rematch there with Callum. It was a great fight. Both fights were great. I mean, I was on the edge of my seat there as well. You've now got that shiny new belt. What's next? Uh, we just need to sit down with you and see what's next. Uh, I asked a few boys for this Celtic title fight and a few of them said no, so we'll be back to the drawing board and have a few names. When's the Celtic title up? Let me see it, let me see it. That's, that's actually quite a nice belt that if I was... Brand new, that, that is. That, I mean, it's actually quite a nice... I think they, they must have spruced it up a little bit because it does look like a, a shiny new one. So, um, yeah, like I said, like, when I first spoke to you about it, I spoke to you about the division that you're in, the featherweight, right? Yeah, super yeah, fe super Bantam, you got Dune? Aye, I'm right Dune, aye, that's a Super Bantam title, aye. I thought you were featherweight. There you go then. <laughs> Super Bantam. Uh, you're, you're massive, mate. There's no, there's no hiding it. You're, you're, you're very, very, very big for a Super Bantam weight. Easy to make that weight? Aye, comfortable. The, the last fight, that, that's an odd hang in the last fight. We get down too early. Uh, I think I was on the fight about eight weeks out for the fight last time, so I had to carb up. So that was a bit of messing about with the weight. But this time we've done it all right. Everything went smoothly this training camp. Uh, we've done the weight right this time and I made it comfortable. To be fair. Like, I'm a biased jock and I keep saying it, man. I want all my, all the Scottish fighters that I know to, to go on and achieve massive things in the sport. The sport that I love, the sport that I've been in since I was 10 years old. Um, and I'm, I'm looking at you and the way you fight. You're an exciting young fighter. You come forward. You, you're not scared to get stuck in. Do you know what I mean? Throw 15 body shots in a row. You're not scared to do that sort of stuff. And that's what fans like. So going forward... Are oh, you that guy come 2024 to, to maybe step onto them big stages, those big matchroom shows, Frank Warren shows, boxing shows, Sky Sports? Are you ready for these shows? I could be. Listen, every fight we'll, we'll take as we, as it comes. Uh, I believe it's super bantamweight. As you say, I'm huge for the weight, you know what I mean? And I'm a powerful boy. So it's super bantamweight. If you land day shots on somebody, they're not going to take it well at super bantamweight. So uh, we could take each fight as it comes and if they big money fights pop up then after right, you know what I mean? There's some of them. Some of you like that, nah, no chance <laughs> for it. 
Uh, we were no daft. We wouldn't take a, a scoop at fight too early or push me on too quick. So uh, that's up to you, to be fair. That's my fifth fight. So fifth fight and second title, you know what I mean? So I've been pushed on quick, but there's always that. Thing. You don't want to be pushed on too quick. Because uh, there is levels to it at the end of the day. I was going to ask like one final question, but you've probably just answered it there. You, you're going to take one fight as it come, but I was going to say, have you got any? Have you got a message for the super bantam weights? <laughs> no, because there's some, there's some of them. Even I'm no daft. There's some of them with the phone dub that I am. You can start calling a newie out. Oh no, fuck that. No, <laughs> no, but, uh, no. There's some of them if, if the if the right money and that was there, then we felt it was the right time to step up. Then I would do it. We'd take it. Uh, right. But then they did ask me to get two belts, so two belts, we'll be in the top ten now. So definitely, there's no hiding. <laughs> definitely, listen, well done, Dylan. Go and enjoy the rest of the night, and uh, that belt's a cracker, man. Well Cheers. done. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook. <laughs>